Hello, welcome to this week's edition of The Filter. Sorry, you knocked my guitar over there. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you for listening. If you're listening via the podcast, thank you for reading. If you're also getting the email version of The Filter. Remember, in the podcast and the YouTube video, I don't give you any of the links. To get the links to the articles, you have to subscribe to the email. To subscribe to the email, you need to go to yeseo.io forward slash subscribe. Right, let's get on with it. We have two articles, as usual, for this, this edition. If you want more, let me know. If you want less, if you want one, let me know. This is all brand new and an experiment, like a lot of things in SEO. Right, so the article number one, it's not rocket appliances. Now, I get asked a lot how people in SEO know what Google like. What does Google consider quality content? We, we, we can say that it's all just kind of a mystical thing. The truth is Google tell us exactly what they want. The article I linked to here is Google saying very, very clearly that they expect to see a certain number of things on a certain type of content. This is reviews. Now, this one's particularly pertinent because there's just been an update where Google, again, has said, this is what we consider to be quality if you're, if you're writing review articles. Even if you're not writing review articles, it's worth having a look at this this link because it just generally gives you a feel for what Google considers to be good practice, and that is important. Remember, Google kind of wants to make the web a better place. I mean, they're going to make billions of dollars doing it, or are they up to trillions yet? Anyway, the next article is another really good one. It seems particularly pertinent at the moment as there's so much chatter about AI. I've linked to this article because it's about nurturing leads. Not necessarily about AI, but it just gives you some really good information about personalization. For the first part of the internet, everyone marketed it in very broad terms, trying to reach as many people as possible. And that's kind of really changing now. It's getting more and more macro or micro. I'm not sure what the correct use of the word is there. On to book of the week. This is a classic, Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. I don't think the title's aged particularly well, but it's still a really good book. I consider this to be a marketing book and everyone who works here at Yesio and all the freelancers and some of the associates I work with all get a copy of this when I first meet them. It's nearly 100 years old, but it's more relevant now than ever, especially actually when you can, when you connect it to the lead nurturing article above about personalization. It's a must. Now we're on to a cheeky little mention of the Untitled SEO podcast. I was really fortunate to get a conversation with somebody called Stuart Thompson. Uh, sorry, Townsend. Well, that's good, isn't it? Uh, Stuart has very much been there and done that, especially with regards to app development. And the conversation, half an hour long, is a lot of fun. There's a lot of laughter on that podcast. We don't want SEO to be dull. We think it's cool. And then finally, meme of the week. Yeah, we're moaning about Search Console again. It's something of a hobby if you work in SEO. That's it. That's the end of the filter for this week. Please go to yeseo.io forward slash subscribe. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe to the podcast and send me coffee.